Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the TheStockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to a market review. I thought I reviewed the QQQs. There was an FOMC minutes announcement today at 2 o'clock, and you see the reaction here is very positive from that. Uh, the interesting thing is this morning, I thought we would be sideways neutral or bearish, and we did come in today. We came in late. We were bearish here. Let me see, where was the 9.30? Here's the 9.30 bar here in the 15-minute, and we fell into the morning, broke a new low around 10 o'clock reversal time, rallied up here at 10.30 and 10.45, triggered on a 15-minute sell setup. And the market was a nice short in here right before 12 o'clock lunch. Broke off very, very late. Again, it's not a good idea to be in trades before these types of announcements or while the announcements are going long, are going on and being announced. But this did break right here into one o'clock. Right before the announcement, the market fell in. Low here is 84.27. It is lower than I anticipated it going. I was thinking in here or possibly, oh no, this did go to the number. Well, I was thinking like around the 30s or the 48 range. Let's see where this went. 84.05. Yeah, this did, this did come in more than I thought. This did come in more than I thought here at 1 o'clock. Uh, but then we bounced. Bounced and had this big bounce here off at 84 at 2 o'clock on the news information. And the funny thing was, I thought this would happen. Nobody knows that but the people that were in the trading room with me today. But I, I called that this would happen. I said, we're going to come in today. But then when the news comes out and the minutes come out, we're going to bounce and rally and go green. And that's what we're doing. <laughs> Nobody knows that but the people that were in the room with me this morning that I predicted this would happen. But it was a great call. And we're actually triggering now to buy set up. We're triggering now a daily buy set up at 3.30 into the close here on a Wednesday afternoon. And uh, we're going to close here strong this week. We're going to have a nice green day now, I think, Thursday and Friday in the market. And uh, we're going to close strong this year. We're going to make a new high this year. I, I don't know if it's this week or, or next week, but it's going to be before the end of the calendar year, before December 31st. The market will make a new high here. And the first target is 87. I actually think we might even close up in the 88 range before the end of the year, even though it's only, you know, another less than two weeks, really, before the end of the year. But this rally could come in big here to, to close out the year. So nice rally here with the news. And I'm just thinking, gosh, my calls in the market have been really good lately. I should just be calling and playing the market. <laughs> this had a nice move in here. This is almost two bucks. Beautiful. So this is the QQQs. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com. Uh, the market's been heavy for the last few days, but that is done and over with now. And even the heaviness that I was feeling and playing and calling and reading was temporary. And I said, said that too. It was a temporary, temporary pull-in, and this tail here looks great, and this looks great. I think we're actually going to get up, up tomorrow, so I, I don't think we're going to make it over 86 here before the close. We might. We got close, but if not, we should gap up to that area tomorrow. We might even gap over here tomorrow. We, we might even gap over this area here tomorrow. Be interesting to see, although I do think we definitely gap up tomorrow morning. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com. If you're interested in more information, how to read price and read charts and read the market, which I'm able to do because I understand how to read gaps. And that's how I've read the market well this whole year, this whole year, actually. And we're going to close strong this year now, too. And so it's very interesting. This, this stuff about price and, and reading gaps is a beautiful thing. It's what allows me to see these things before they even happen. And that's how I called what the rally would be today, even though I had no idea, no idea at all what, what the minutes were going to say. I just was reading it in the price, seeing that it was going to do it, and it did it. It did it spot on. So this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. If you'd like more information on upcoming gap courses, email me. The next one is January 18th and 19th, 2014. My email is melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.